Yo fam, welcome back to another episode of Q Reviews. In this Q Review, we'll be going over Black Adam starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This project has been in the making for the last seven years. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson said he always wanted to play Black Adam, and here we are. Here's the movie. How do I feel about this movie? Well, I wasn't 100% in love with it. Now, let me just get some of the things out that I did really like about this film. Yo, the soundtrack is epic. Um, I haven't heard a good epic DC soundtrack since like probably Man of Steel. And Black Adam has his own theme and it's exciting and it's, and it's hype. Another thing I like about the movie, believe it or not, is The Rock himself. Um, he basically plays himself in the Black Adam costume, you know, but his, um, presence is imposing. He has the muscles. He has the look. He's intimidating. So I thought it worked on that aspect. And most of the action in here is pretty fucking fun. No, I'm not going to even lie. The action is pretty fun. If you like, if you want to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson play Superman uh, and throw shit and electricity throughout the whole movie, you're in for a treat. Unfortunately, that's as far as my likes goes about this movie, because to me, this movie didn't have a lot of character development. You got Hawkman in this movie, Dr. Fate, I think her name is uh, the Windy Girl, Tornado or something else, and uh, uh, Black Adam Smash, or Adam Smasher, yeah. Adam Smasher's in this movie too. They, they play some kind of dollar store, Justice League of America, X-Man type thing, but th they never really give them any character development. Like Hawkman, he almost seemed like he's Prince of Wakanda at one, in a couple of scenes because he got something like this full African colorful drove. He's, he's flying a jet just like Black Panther, but um, he flies like Falcon, the Winter Soldier. So like, it, it, but they never explain anything. His origins, where he comes from, he's just kind of there. Uh, same with uh, Smash Adam or whatever. I don't know anything about this character. He's just sort of like an Ant-Man character who kind of looks like... Deadpool and tries to make Spider-Man jokes, but they none of his jokes never really land. They are they, they all land flat, and we never know anything about them. Same as the Wind Girl. I can't even remember her name. I know she, uh, the, the comic geeks are gonna tear me up, but she didn't have a lot to do as well. She just came in there for visual flair. And this is uh, this is this whole movie. This whole movie is a, a lot of spectacle, no substance. Okay, uh, they tried to explain the backstory with um, Black Adam and how he came to be, and I thought that was all right. Now, okay, you're attempting to tell a story here but, but, but before we can get too much um we're on to the next action scene the next action scene is fine you know some of them look really good i wanted to compare it to man of steel and smallville but it still doesn't top uh, action in that movie yet but it's a lot of exposition they try to talk and talk and talk and talking too much you'll be like oh fuck man Y'all still talking? Let's get back to that action scene at least. So the third act of this film, they've been chasing this MacGuffin the whole movie and then this MacGuffin out of nowhere decides to do something very, very powerful and turn one being into something else for Dwayne Durock Johnson to fight as Black Adam. And I thought it was a real misstep. I thought we had been over making these type of, you know, last boss villains, you know, because it, it looked like, it straight up looked like a PS4 video game. You know, like, I can say that throughout most of the movies. Uh, this whole thing looks like a PS4 cutscene, you know what I'm saying? Just tons of just flashy action and lightning and shit like that. Some of it works, some of it's cool, but after a while you just feel numb by it. You know, you're like, I'm just, I'm just feeling numb. I'm not connecting to any of the characters here. Even, even as cool as Black Adam is, I'm still not connecting to his characters. I think Dr. Fate is the one I really only had an com uh, emotional connection with, thanks to Br Pierce Brosnan's performance. But other than that, man, this movie's just uh, just fl flair. Just a, there's a bunch of money at the screen. You're going to see special effects. They say turn your brain off and eat your popcorn. I, yeah, I guess so, because... Um, I could have put this movie on mute and probably enjoyed it the same. The um, the dialogue is atrocious. Sometimes the acting here is really bad, delivered by the actors, but I don't put full blame on the actors. I put blame on the dialogue that was written here. So overall, man, if I had to score Black Adam, yo, I sh I'm giving it a 2.3 out of 5, man. I, I just found a lot of things to be forgettable. Uh, do I want to see more Black Adam? Yes, because I think Dwayne The Rock Johnson still has the right star power to bring people to this film like they will bring uh, them to this film here. But I think this film is just lackluster. I would like to see Black Adam in a, in a, in a better movie. As for origin story goes, it's... Um, 
just a whole two hour runtime of Black Adam fucking shit up. Now, if you want that, that's gonna be fine. That'd be fine for you. I did kind of enjoy that part of the film, just seeing him go mess shit up, you know? And he fought fucking Hawkman about three or four times. That's what Hawkman's here for in this movie to get beat up by Black Adam. I'm serious, man. I mean, it's just not a lot here. What do you guys think of Black Adam? You wanna go check it out to me? It just didn't work 100%. Um, I put it on the same level as maybe a Captain Marvel or a Aquaman. Aquaman is a better comparison. I didn't love Aquaman though. A lot of people did. It made a billion dollars, but I didn't love that movie. I might like Aquaman a little bit better than this movie. Have y'all seen the movie yet? If you have seen the movie, uh, let's get a conversation started in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit me that like button. And if you really like this content, consider subscribing to the Q Review family. And don't just stare at my rock eyebrow. Eat it. Peace. I'm out cold. You hoes been exposed. Walk up on you slow with the flow. And I know you got mold. Left for dead on the road. I strode when your car got to.